Hi guys, welcome back to the IELTS workshop. I am Zui Long, teacher of the junior and senior course. And today I am so excited because we're having a brand new series called Thầy ơi mình đi đâu thế? Or as in English, Teacher, where are we going? In this brand new series, the dear teachers of the IELTS workshop will take you to completely new destinations where you will experience new things, new cultures, it's just, you know, overall total excitement. And, well, it's not technically brand new because we have already had the first episode and if you have not seen that, I will put the link down here in the information box. But, let's get to my episode. Mm -hmm. Let's hit it. So recently, I and my dear sisters at the IELTS workshop just had a fabulous weekend getaway in Bangkok, Thailand. Amazing! Well, it was only a short weekend, but we managed to do so much. Not only did we experience some great food, but we also made it to some of the most famous tourist attractions in Bangkok. And you know what? That's also the theme for today's episode of Thầy ơi mình đi đâu thế? Let's go to some of the notorious famous spots that we have been able to visit in the past couple of days. Let's go! Here we are inside Wat Phong, one of Bangkok's biggest temple complexes and also one of the must visit tourist attractions in the city. I'm truly lost for words by how beautiful and, and spectacular this place is. I mean, just, just, just look at it. Every single detail, every single structure, there's an incredible amount of meticulousness going on here. And, and I'm, just, I'm just truly speechless. This is such a, a great experience. Wow. Right now, I'm standing in front of the renowned status of Reclining Buddha, which is 46 meters long and is entirely covered in gold leaves. And, and seriously, this is one of the most surreal spiritual experiences I've ever encountered in, in my life. I'm serious right now. It is day two of our weekend getaway in Bangkok and right now we're heading over to the Cha Chu Chak weekend market. We're standing in front of a shop that sells Thai spices and herbs and I'm going to pack my bags with these green curry and masaman curry paste. It's so good that I can find in Vietnam. You can just find it in here and seriously I'm gonna buy a lot of them. Seriously, we could drown in here like all day. Seriously, look at this. Oh my god. Seriously. I just came across this cutest place ever. To have these dog shirts that are... Oh my god, seriously. Seriously. This one is speaking to my heart. I am definitely buying this piece and about 50 other pieces. Kill me. Just kill me already. This is my favorite place in the whole market. You can see an intertwining of nature and human activities in a very active and, and very lively way. It's just so vivid and, and so lively. Finally, we are exiting the Chadu Chak market. Well, I like to say that we are proud victims of consumerism. So tonight we glammed up a little bit and we're going to Khao San to have some beers. Why not? We're in Bangkok. Alright guys, so those were some of the most important destinations during my trip to Bangkok. And I think after watching this clip, you can all agree with me that Bangkok is such a vivid and lively city, right? Every place has its own charm, everything is so vibrant and it's just, you know, it comes alive so beautifully and I really hope that it gives you a sense of what Bangkok truly is. But 
I know many of you guys did not come here just for the places. I know many of you foodaholics out there are really looking for something and that's the food. And I mean, of course, who would go to Bangkok and like not try the food? That'd be insane. So, food will be the topic for the next episode of Taylor Medido Tay. For now, it's a wrap. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm Zui Lang, teacher of the junior and senior course, and this is the IELTS Workshop.